Well, Technology Metals Australia has upgraded its vanadium ore reserves estimates, but almost a third. But what is vanadium and who wants it? Ian Prentice, Technology Metals Australia's MD, knows better than most, and he joins us now. <laughs> Ian, welcome to the program. Talk us through the product and what is it used for? Give us an insight so our audience has some idea. Yeah, thank, thanks very much for having me on board. Um, yeah, so vanadium um, predominantly used in, in steel. There's uh, alloy in steel, so uh, high strength, low alloy steel is the predominant use. So construction, um, motor vehicles across the board, there's a lot of vanadium that's used in steel. Um, but the big emerging sector in, in vanadium consumption is in, um, in the battery sector, um, stationary storage batteries. So we're talking very large scale, uh, grid scale type battery installations. And that's where uh, I guess, you know, the last few years has been quite a lot of interest in, into that space. And that's where we see a lot of, a lot of growth in the midterm. Where do you see that growth? I mean, in terms of region by region and given what we've been hearing in the market of late, what sort of um, landscape do you see going forward? Yeah, so look, I think um, like a lot of lot of commodities, China has been the leader in in that space. Like China is the biggest producer and consumer of vanadium across the board, but it's also building some of the largest batteries, uh, the vanadium redox flow batteries in the world. So they're sort of at the forefront. But you know, the technology is really coming strongly coming out of the, uh, the US. Um, Japan's been active in in the technology, and I guess going back a bit, going back to the mid 80s, the technology was actually uh, I guess uh, developed in in uh, the University of New South Wales. So, so we've had a long legacy with this uh, this technology in the VRFB. But yeah, right now I think um, uh, China, um, the US, and then uh, I guess um, uh, into Europe as well. And we, we just recently uh, had an announcement out of Saudi Arabia where they're looking to build a very large um, vanadium redox flow battery facility, which will be uh, supported by a, a German company. So, so there's a real huge uh, groundswell of, of growth coming along now in that space. So Ian, before these batteries are potentially built, you have to go and get the vanadium to the customers. Talk us through this Gabinintha uh, project that you've got. I know that uh, we mentioned in the introduction that uh, there's been an estimate upgrade. Uh, tell us about the actual site. Where are you up to when it comes to activities there? How, how's it going? Yeah, so, so we actually released a feasibility study, a definitive feasibility study in August of last year. So that demonstrated you know, very long life, uh, very low cost, um, you know, large scale um, production centre there. As you say, we've now just recently announced a 32% increase to our resolve, reserve position there. So we're, we're now looking at a 22 and a half year mine life based on our updated reserve. So that's the sort of scale of, of project we, we've got. Um, we also just recently announced that we had our mining leases granted. So end of uh, end of August, our mining leases came through as well. So we've had a lot of progress over the last few months on, at the project level. Um, we're right in the midst of the environmental approvals process at the moment, and that's that's the sort of the last piece of the puzzle to as far as um, progressing the uh, project development. But the other key for us is also engaging in the in the vanadium market. So you know, getting uh, customers and uh, offtake uh, agreements with customers across the world is a, a really big focus for us. So Ian, in order to go and do all that, it costs money. Have you, uh, is your balance sheet ready to go or do you potentially see the need to go and raise capital in the near term? So, so we've, uh, we've we actually raised a little bit of capital back in uh, in June of this year, uh, and that was really focused on on the work programs we've got in front of us at the moment. So, um, delivery of that um, updated reserve, delivery of the of the mining leases, and also moving through the environmental approvals pathway. Um, the the project itself will need to be funded, and that's a, that's that's a much larger number than we've currently got in our in our uh, in our bank account. So, that certainly there will be another round of of, uh, of of financing required to build the project, and that's you know big part of what we're doing is to say engaging with customers talking with potential financiers groups like the northern australian infrastructure facility who are looking at investing into infrastructure in the north of australia and uh, where our project sits nicely so so all those sort of conversations are moving along as well as part of the whole package to build the project certainly a very interesting space and i've noticed uh, your share prices are up about double from uh, from the start of the year when i was uh, checking out the form so we'll definitely love to go and check with you uh, in the near future ian prentice technology metals australia md thank you for your time this afternoon Fantastic. Thanks very much.